I think I want people to remember that this is a true story, that these men really did these things, these really heroic things. And I don't think you need a Marvel superhero when you can have the real thing with these guys. There is an aspect of verisimilitude and authenticity that I think helps it become the document that it can be and that it's going to live forever on Apple TV Plus is only, is only a plus. That it is not just based on truth, but we literally cherry pick individual specific moments exactly as they are. And it comes down to, I think, for the audience where that's just an added bonus for them to think, I didn't know that not just as far as individual moments, but they didn't know how hard and tactile a process that it was. This was like the most hostile war zone of all time. The technology was brand new and they were flying blind and 77% of, of these men went down. Most people who were around at the time aren't around anymore, so it's important that we keep the memory of what happened uh, alive and so we don't repeat the same mistakes. And, you know, it's an honor to represent these people. What they sacrificed um, for us and our ideologies and, and our futures. Uh, so to step into those shoes was, uh, was a real privilege of mine. All the stories we're telling are true stories. And so there's inherently a responsibility in that to want to do them justice and to make them proud. And, um, and, but it's really just an honor. I mean, an honor is the word that I use more than any others. We created such a bond, all of us. You know, we had a, lot, a long time. It was almost a year that we shot. And, and it lasted to this day. You know, that was two years ago that we finished. And uh, some, of the, some of the guys that just I'm seeing right now, I haven't seen them since we finished. So that, that bond and that love really stays, you know. Military history and World War II has been a big part of my family for a long time. So I, it was a complete honor to be a part of this. And, to work with such an incredible cast and team and directors and producers and I mean these sets were incredible and um, it's been a dream of mine to to fly and play an Air Force pilot so it's a dream come true. I play second lieutenant Alexander Jefferson. Well he was a Tuskegee Airman uh, that ended up being a POW captured at war. Um, he was a great man, a great leader he was a brilliant artist as well, so he drew actually his entire time while he was captured. So we have this record essentially of what the POW camps were like and uh, what it was like to be around there, what it was like to be a Tuskegee Airman. So I think he was really, really important in that, in that movement. It's so immersive. I mean, we, we made it such a, we tried to make it really feel like we were stepping into the world of the show. We were sitting in a cockpit, you know, a replica cockpit that was on a hydraulic gimbal. There's screens going around, lots of noise. There's special effects and explosions, really trying to make it uh, kind of as exciting as possible. It was amazing, and we're led by Austin Butler and Callum Turner, who are absolute titans, both very different, but they really were like our commanding officers. They were, they were great. It was just such a pleasure. Working with Apple TV Plus has been absolutely amazing. The book camp, it was a lot. It was three weeks of army people shouting at us, you know, get in the ground, maggot, and that sort of thing, and we had to do, uh, how are you doing, bro? Hello. Good to see you, mate. Nice you look great. Um, so it was, it was a lot of uh, rolling around in the mud, you know, all that sort of thing.
even from the audition, there was an excitement within me, um, and it was something that I really, really wanted to be a part of. And once I got the role, I was quickly into boot camp, um, and that was genuinely one of the best experiences of my life, to be around such incredible actors and talent, but also just such lovely guys who um, all had each other's backs. It was all about kind of um, encouraging each other and, and really trying to kind of understand this story, this incredible story that we're telling. Um, and that kind of set the president from there. I think what, what was amazing was being on a, in such a dynamic set, watching people that I'd grown up with, that I'd sort of seen before, and learning every day, you know? Watching these actors that I'd loved, just doing their thing, and just, it was an incredible learning experience as much as anything else as well.